When can an adjective be postponed? I read this at The Economist, and it's the second sentence in the second paragraph. That a small consolation for an Israeli establishment still hankering after the much easier rapport it had with Egypt's ousted Mubarak regime, especially in matters military. At first I thought matters here means important, because I tend to understand it this way, especially in military that matters. Then it occurs to me that phrase like something good has the noun plus adjective structure, so I guess matters military means military matters. But it really cost me a lot of time to figure it out, and I would have put it as military matters instead. Because my limited language sense tells me I can postpose an adjective, phase, only when it's used with unspecified pronouns such as anything, everything or something, or when the phrase itself is too long. So question 1, in this case, which one sounds more comfortable to you? Matters military or military matters? Shin 2, when can I postpose an adjective and when is it imperative? We all know the rule of thumb that you never put an adjective after the noun which it is describing. A more accurate statement is, adjectives usually occur in the attributive or the predicative position, there are some that are used solely, or in certain circumstances, post positively, adjectives do as well appear in reduced clauses and sentence fragments. Collins co build English grammar lists four subclasses of post positive adjectives, a adjectives which must or may be used post nominally. Points 1 to 4 below are taken from my copy of Collins co build English grammar, though I've added the comments for class 1 and given new examples. The rest, apart from the obvious reference back to the thread, is semi original. I can't remember where I picked it up or my selection process for retaining is valuable, discarding. I'm certainly quoting myself in part from Word Wizard. Oh, and the fourth position for adjectives is the absolute usage, happy with his lolly, Tim did not see the Kingfisher dark past. Adjectives used only post positively, designate elect extraordinaire incarnate monke, galore is often included here, but I think is far more quantifier ish, note the loanword connection involved, in French, Adjectives are usually postposed, of course. Some adjectives are used immediately after a measure, e.g. 3 miles high, broad deep high long old tall thick wide. The adjectives concerned involve present responsible proper can be used before or after the noun they modify, but the meaning changes, do you think they are responsible people? The people responsible will be brought to justice. The adjectives affected available required suggested may be used either pre or post nominally with no change of meaning, we haven't got the required money, money required. I'd add a fifth usage, deliberately archizing contexts, regards to Stony, often with a nod to G and S say. Matters military, matters mathematical where the accepted word order is reversed for effect. This could get very tedious very quickly, and prompted the original posting. Attributive adjective plus noun, phrase and noun, phrase, Plus post positive adjective have often become collocations or even compound nouns, red sunset, blue moon slash slash devil incarnate, president elect, and are often set idioms. I'd suggest that especially Latin connections are jealously guarded by highbrow scholars, as in present continuous and lawyers, as in fee simple absolute in their jargon. Question 1. They both sound good to me, but I prefer military matters because it's not pretentious or excessively literary. Question 2. There are a few adjectives, for example, the lore, that must be postponed. There are sentences in which postposing the adjective is normal. In some instances, adjectives can follow the direct object, in which case it is described as postposed, such as he paints the house red, they made the party wonderful. There are set phrases with postposed adjectives. Court Martial Attorney General